Hey! Our theme for the practice today is Let's Twist. So we are doing familiar poses in this practice, but we are adding twists on each one of them. And uh, there aren't going to be any surprises what comes to the poses. You are already familiar with them if you have been practicing with me. And if you are new to this channel, welcome. I'm happy that you are here. And uh, we are doing yin yoga, which is suitable for you even, even if you are new to yoga even. Uh, we are staying in each pose for four to five minutes. You will need a block for this practice. If you don't have any, you can use uh, pillows and blankets instead. And yeah, we are ready to start our practice today. And we are starting it with a sleeping butterfly. And now you need your block and you need to place your block under your shoulder blades. So have the block on the lowest level and uh, place your back onto the block and you can bend your knees and open your knees wide apart, bring the soles of your feet together and opening your arms on your shoulder level or toward your shoulder level and just lie there trying to find comfortableness in this pose, breathing in through your nose, breathing out through your nose, and slowly letting your breath expand so it's lifting up from your belly all the way to your rib cage and your collarbones. And as you exhale, let your chest drop towards your spine, let your rib cage kind of like a slide toward each other and let your belly drop toward your spine. Continue on breathing. You can expand your exhalation so it's a little bit more long than your inhalation. And just breathe and relax. If you haven't already, please close your eyes and just enjoy this moment that you have taken for yourself to do this practice today. If you find your mind wandering, please just bring your focus back into your breath. You can let go of your thoughts, just focus on your breath, focus on relaxing your body, relaxing your mind, just being here and letting the earth to carry you.
after your next exhalation, you can start to release yourself. So bring your arms to the side of your body and lift yourself up. You can move the bolster to the side and come to your child's pose. So come and sit on your heels. We are adding twist to this pose. So come sit on your heels and slide your right hand under your left hand. Bring your head onto your mat, the right side of your head, and let your left hand, forearm, rest on your mat. Breathe to the back of your heart. Feel how your back is rounded. How your inhalations are making it more wide in a way, bringing more length into your spine. And as you exhale, feel the sensations of letting go, not only for the breath, but also letting go of any unwanted, so your body can rewind. Twists are a way to help us find balance and comfort in our lives. They can cool or they can heal us up. They can prepare or calm us. And when we come back to the neutral after a twist, we are reminded that to live a life of balance, we need a release after holding on. And after every inhale, there is after all an excellent exhale. So reminding you also about your breath, your breathing, breathing in fully and deeply. And exhale completely. Please stay here for a little while longer. You can start to release, lifting yourself up in a way that you can switch sides. So slide your left arm under your right, bringing your 
head onto your mat and resting there, twisting the other way, feeling how this side feels today. Feel your inhalation in your spine. There are many physical benefits of twists, but just telling you a few, they stimulate and tone the internal organs, especially kidney and liver, and they maintain and lengthen and create resilience in the soft tissue of the spine and they mightly stimulate our nervous system. So if you want to detox your body, twists are an excellent way to do that. Even with yin yoga twists, which are more gentle, you can of course do a practice that is more intense with the twists, but even with the yin yoga, because we are kind of massaging our inner organs with our yin yoga poses. So that is an excellent, excellent way to detox your body in a more gentle way. And maybe even in daily basis doing some twists. We have few more breaths here. You can slowly release, lift yourself up and we are moving on to spinal twists and we are adding eagle legs to the twist. And if you want, you can use a block, so place it on the left side of your body and come lie on your back and place your right leg over your left and if you can bind it over your left angle it's fine you can do that and then turn your legs to your left 
bring your arms toward your shoulder level again. Make sure that both of your shoulder blades are on your mat. And then you can also turn your head to the op opposite directions, <laughs> direction from your feet. And find your breath here. Notice the inhalations in your body. Notice how your body feels when you are inhaling. And as you exhale, notice the letting go. How it, re how it feels to release that air from your lungs. And continue on breathing. Inhaling, exhaling. Letting your thoughts be there somewhere back, not in your head, but just back in your head so you aren't able to read them. We stay here for a little while longer, continue on breathing. You can slowly release and if your legs require some movement, you can straighten them and bring little movement and then guide your left leg over your right. Maybe tie the angle around your uh, right angle. And then just lift your arms onto your shoulder level turning your head to the opposite direction from your feet and feel the deep breaths in your body, in your spine feel how the twist feels when you are fully inhaling and when you are fully exhaling can you feel the intensity of this pose when you are inhaling deeply can you feel the letting go as you are exhaling?
We have a few more breaths here. And slowly you can start to release, release your legs. You can keep your knees bended and bring your feet to the outer edge of your mat. We are doing another twist. So your feet are on the outer, outer edge of your mat. And from there, let your feet drop to your left. Again, lift your arms on your shoulder level, turn your head to the opposite direction, breathing in fully and deeply. Remember, you can use your blocks to support you, either, either leg, uh, maybe your right leg needs some support, uh, maybe it's your left leg. So feel how it feels without it and then support your body if you need, need to. And take your time making yourself comfortable. And once your body is still, you can start to focus on your breaths. Breathing in fully, deeply. And exhaling completely. Enjoying that wavy kind of movement in your body when you are breathing. And let that wave rock you to more calm state. We have you more breaths here.
slowly you can turn your head to the center and then switch sides so bringing your feet to your right your arms are still on your shoulder level and turning your head again to the opposite direction from your feet breathing fully and deeply first noticing the sensations on this side and then finding the waves of your breath calming your body and your mind and you can just float there float in the waves of your breath We have a few more breaths here. You can slowly start to release yourself, turning your head to the center, lifting your feet to center, and from there lifting yourself up. And then come sit on your right side, on your right buttock, and bend your leg and let your quad point to the top edge of your mat and have your left leg bend it as well and then come to forward fold over your right leg and you can have your block under your tummy to support you you can have if you have two blocks you can have one under your head as well breathing in fully and deeply noticing your sensations because we are now in a more closed twist here 
So you have the ability to turn inward with this pose. So feel how it feels as you have turned inward. Continue on breathing, feeling, letting go, letting go of any thoughts that might enter your mind. Know that you can return to your thoughts after your practice, but this is your time. And this is no time to think. So just focus on this moment and your breaths. slowly you can start to lift yourself up turn your back to your block and turn onto the other side so now you are sitting on your left side both legs are bended and your left quad is pointing to the top edge of your mat and have your palms on the top edge as well or towards your top edge and then come to your forward fold over your left leg toward the top edge of your mat as well and again feel how this side feel in your body we usually have different feelings on different sides so is this more intense to this side or is it more easy and just like observe notice how your body feels get to know your body and then Without any analyzing, you can just 
find your breaths and let the waves rock you, calm you, calm your mind, calm your body and just float there. We have a few more breaths here. Continue on breathing fully and deeply. Letting the outside world to be outside, not on your mat. And slowly you can start to release yourself, you can lift yourself up, you can move the posture away from your mat and come to your all fours. And then bring your right knee behind your right wrist and your right ankle behind your left wrist. So we are coming to the swan, we are coming to the sleeping swan with the twist. So. Have your left leg straight and long and then bring your right arm under your left. As you are coming to this sleeping swan variation, so bringing your head to your mat as well, resting there and just feel how this pose feels with the twist. Does it feel any different? Does it feel a lot different? How does it feel in your body to be here and doing this gentle twist
and then just let go of any analyzing come to your breath breathing in fully and deeply exhaling letting go Continue on breathing here a little while longer, breathing and letting go. And then slowly you can start to lift yourself up and we are switching sides so come to your all fours and bring your left knee behind your left wrist and your left ankle behind your right wrist find your swan here so your right leg is straight and long and then bring your left arm under your right and come to your sleeping swan feel how the twist feels and just lie there just relax enjoy trying to release any muscle tension that there may still be knowing that your excellences are the point that you can let go of also that muscle tension you don't need to support your body your muscles don't need to 
work right now. They can just be. You can just be. And breathe. We have few more breaths here. You can start to lift yourself up, releasing yourself, and we are ready for our Savasana today. So you can come and lie on your back, letting your feet open outward, so you can relax your hips when you are doing this. You can place your arms on the side of your body, palms up, letting your shoulder blades rest on your mat. You can knot your chin in a little making sure that your neck is straight and long you can close your eyes knowing that this is the most important part of your yoga practice and just stick around for a little while longer and embrace the moment and by doing so you will allow you to create space on deep level allowing you to make the most of every day and every fear that once crept in dissolve.
Our quote today comes from Deepak Chopra and it goes like this. The past is gone, the future is not here and now I am free of both. Right now I choose joy. You can start to invite a little movement into your body, to your fingers and your toes and maybe stretching yourself really long, waking yourself up from your practice, lifting yourself up to seated position, a position where you want to end your practice today, trying to have your spine straight and long, chest open, resting your palms on your knees or on your lap, Lifting your palms onto your heart center, lifting your thumbs in between your brows, make a little bow to say thank you. The light within me honors the light within you. Namaste. And we see each other again next time. And remember, if you haven't already, to comment, like and subscribe to my channel. Bye now.